Hey everyone, this is Paul with Freedom Gorilla, and today we're going to cover the top four Holosun red and green dot sights for your Kimber R7 Mako. To mount these optics on your slide, you will need an adapter plate. All the adapter plates we recommend for this platform can be found below in the link in our description. This is because your slide has an RMSC footprint and you need to turn it into a K-series footprint, aka a modified RMSC footprint. The adapter plates will add a little bit of height to your optics, so they may interfere with your iron sights a little bit. However, the plates are very thin. And just so you know, all of the optics we're gonna cover here today are on our website, freedomgorilla.com, at the best price with free shipping. And we also have a blog post for this video if you wanna read the different versions and see the optics for yourself. Just click the link below in the description. So the first optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun 407K. This is the best budget option. It comes with a six MOA dot and it's available in either red or green reticles. The 407K has shake awake, uh, which is a feature that lets you have the optic turn on and off automatically. Once it senses movement, it turns on. After no movement of 10 minutes, it turns off. It also has an IP67 waterproof rating. It's made out of strong 7075T6 aluminum. It has a 50,000 hour battery life, and it has a really easy to remove side battery tray, which means you don't have to take the optic off to put the a new battery in. The 407K also has manual brightness modes, so you can turn it up, or turn the brightness down and it has two night vision settings. The 407K also has rear dovetails machined into the housing in case you lose your rear dovetails when you take your cover, your optic cover plate off. The 6MOA dot is actually really nice. 6MOA is really nice combination of large enough to pick up and small enough to be precise. The next optic we're gonna cover is the Holosun 507K. The 507K comes in red or green reticles also. And the specs of the 507K are almost identical to the 407K. However, it is a little bit more expensive and the main difference is that the reticle is different. The 507K uses Holosun's multi-reticle system or MRS reticle for short, which is comprised of a 32 MOA circle and a two MOA dot. You can also toggle the reticle if you'd like. So you can use just the 32 MOA circle, just the two MOA dot, or both of them together. It's really easy to change. You just hold down the minus button for three seconds and the reticle will change. The MRS reticle is really nice. It gives you that extra flexibility, whether you want the 32 MOA circle only or just the two MOA dot, or you want them both together. The larger circle does make it a little bit easier to pick up when you draw the weapon and are looking for the dot. The next optic we'll cover is the Holosun 507K ACSS Vulcan. So the stats on this optic are exactly the same as the 407K and the 507K, all the waterproof ratings, housing material, etc., etc. The main difference is the reticle. This uses the ACSS Vulcan reticle, which is a pretty cool reticle. It has a three MOA dot in the center, and it has a 230 MOA dotted outer ring. So the purpose of this reticle is to help you find the dot faster when you draw the weapon. If you've never shot a red dot on a pistol before, you'll find that when you put the gun in front of you, you don't always see the dot. Therefore, you have to find the dot. The ACSS Vulcan helps you find the dot because that very large outer ring is not visible unless you're off center. So when you are off center, you're gonna see that very large dotted outer ring and you're gonna see a portion of it and you're gonna know how to adjust the gun to find that center dot. So the ACSS Vulcan reticle is actually really good for beginners if you want extra help finding the dot but it's also good for anybody else, even if you're an expert, to just have that extra security, knowing that you kind of have an aim assist to find the dot if you draw the weapon and are having trouble finding it. The 507K ACSS Vulcan also comes in red or green reticles. And if you didn't want to use the outer ring, you can toggle it off by holding down the minus button for three seconds. The next optic we'll cover is the Holosun EPS Carry. This is an enclosed emitter optic, 
and it's one of Holosun's newest optics. The difference between an enclosed emitter and an open emitter like we covered before is that the closed emitter covers the laser beam. An open emitter optic has a laser beam that's essentially open to the elements. So if you were to put your finger in front of the laser, you could block it. With a closed emitter optic, there's a protective hood that covers the laser beam. Therefore, nothing can get in the way of the laser to block it. Some things that could get in the way are lint, dirt, mud, water, or any other type of debris. How common is this? You'd have to look at your specific situation. If you're outside a lot or carrying your pistol outside the waistband, outside in rain and snow, then a closed emitter might be a good option for you. Some people have also said that cleaning a closed emitter optic is easier than an open emitter optic because you can just wipe off the lens, whereas an open emitter the lens is recessed, so you have to reach in there with a Q-tip or some kind of lens cleaning tool to clean it out if it ever gets dirty. The EPS carry comes in red or green reticles, but it also comes in either a 2 MOA dot, a 6 MOA dot, or the MRS system. The MRS versions of the EPS carry have a solar panel on the top, and they are the only optic in this small K-series footprint that has a solar failsafe on it. So what the solar failsafe basically lets you do is have the optic powered by solar power in case the battery ever dies. It also gives you the ability to have an automatic brightness setting. But in addition to the automatic brightness setting, you can still use manual brightness if you want. The MRS versions of the EPS carry are the most expensive and they have the 32 MOA circle and the 2 MOA dot with the solar panel. The other options that are the 2 MOA dot or the 6 MOA dot only, they do not have a solar panel on them, which means they also do not have auto brightness settings, but they are a little bit cheaper. The stats on the EPS carry are very similar to the 407K and 507K, except there's eight daylight brightness settings instead of 10 and there's four night vision settings. Also, the EPS Carry has an IPX8 waterproof rating, which is higher than the IP67 rating of the 507K and the 407K. They still have Shake Awake, aluminum housing, 50,000 hours of battery life, and side removable batteries. So which one is best? I think it comes down to your specific situation. How are you gonna be using the gun? What's your budget? Do you want red or green reticles? Those are all things that you need to decide. We can help answer all these questions. We have guides to help answer all these questions. So just visit the link below in the description and you'll learn a lot more and how to answer these questions. And you can also get any of these optics at the best price possible and talk to our support team who is very helpful and very knowledgeable. You can't go wrong with any of these optics. So we hope you found this video helpful and informative. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or reach out to us on chat. Thanks for watching.